Turn back, traveler. Terror waits within this mist. Many have braved the shadowed veil, but vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. Near Giant's Gap, in the gloom before dawn, we marched unsuspecting into the Imperial's trap. Then we stood and fought, our shield wall defending until by dawn's light, the Legion's ranks wavered. But I never knew, if night's end brought victory, a swift flying arrow to Sovereign Guard carried me. I do not know, but none have passed through. Alduin, his hunger insatiable, hunts the lost souls snared within this shadowed valley. Can you lead the way to where Shore's Hall waits, beckoning us on to welcome long sought? I saw it fair when first I trod this long sought path. The pain and fear vanished, dreamlike, and a vision beckoned. Shore's Hall, shimmering across the clouded veil, but quenched was hope by the shrouding mist. My mind is darkened. I've lost the way and wander blindly. Hurry, before Alduin your life devours. Bring word to Shore's Hall of our hard fate. I'll try to hold to your hopeful purpose. Quickly, before this encompassing fog once more snares me in the world eater's net. Know the way. Turn back before he finds you. Beware. The World Eater waits within the mist. He set his soul snare here at Sovngarde's threshold. But Shore restrained our wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counsel your doom he foresaw.
No shade are you, as you usually hear it passes. But living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? Ah. It's been too long since last I faced a doom-driven hero of the Dragonblood. Living or dead, by decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. Turn back, traveler. Terror waits within this mist. Many have braved the shadowed veil, but vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. Near Jai, then we stood and fought. Our shield wall, but I never knew if night's end brought victory, a swift flying arrow to sovereign guard carried me. I do not know, but none have passed through. Alduin, his hunger in safety. Can you lead the way to where sh I saw it? Sure. I Hurry. I'll try to hold to your hopeful purpose. Quickly, before this encompassing fog once more snares me in the world leader's net. No escape. Courage is useless. Beware, the world eater waits within the mist. The bitter war of the world beyond was all for naught. We are all trapped in Alduin's web. For our allegiance he cares not, but devours us equally. Doom unescaped.
What brings you, Wayfar? A faithful errand. No few have chafed to face the worm since first he set, but sure restrained our wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counsel or doom he foresaw. No shade are you, as usually here passes. But living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? I welcome the chance to challenge the blade of Isgramor's heir. Honor living or dead. By decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge, as I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. Welcome, Dragonborn. Our door has stood empty since Alduin first set his soul snare here. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades, and ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormleth, the fearless, glad-hearted in battle. Hekon, the valiant, heavy-handed warrior. Feldir, the old. Far seen and grim. My disciples still follow the difficult path. The way of the voice is neither wide nor easy. But if you stray from wisdom, you wherever you lost. Hold, comrades. Let us counsel take before battle is blindly joined. Alduin's mist is more than a snare. Its shadowy gloom is his shield and cloak. But with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Feldir speaks wisdom. The World Eater, coward, fears you, Dragonborn. We must drive away his mist, shouting together and then unsheathe our blades in desperate battle with our black-winged foe. To battle, my friends! The field will echo with the clamor of war, our wills undaunted.
shore upon Epistle. Defeat out the We cannot fight the foe in this mist. Clear skies! Combine our shouts! Our struggle in vain. Stand fast! His strength is failing! Once more and his might will be broken! Again! And we break his grim hold over Shaw's realm! And we deal no? it for <laughs>
eyes of shore upon you. The feet out the window. and his might will be broken. Sing of this battle in Shore's Hall forever, but your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. All hail the Dragonborn! Hail her with great praise! Our ancient debt for Alduin's reprieve is now repaid. The long night is ended. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to Nur, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need.
Necessary. Alduin had flown far from the path of right action in his Pachlok, in the arrogance of his power. But I cannot celebrate his fall. Zutiraz Ach Ochma. He was my brother once. This world will never be the same. You saw more clearly than I, certainly more clearly than Alduin, Roch Funta Korav. Perhaps now you have some insight into the forces that shape the Benesetid, the currents of time. Perhaps you begin to see the world as a Dova. But I forget myself. Croesus, Soros Mivhadon, melancholy is an easy trap for a Dover to fall into. You have won a mighty victory, Sachroch Kondrach, one that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovakin. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time.
We heard the news from Whiterun that you left the city on the back of a dragon. That's a little showy, even for you. Since you're still alive, I assume you have good news to report. Gods above, that's better news than I had hoped. When you walked into my inn that day, I never imagined where it would all lead. Dragons out of legend. Sovngarde. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. You've done it. Just as the prophecy said, I knew you could do it. I believed in you, and yet I still didn't think I'd live to see this day. You shouldn't be here unless you decided to bring Parthenax to justice. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the dragon cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. I'm afraid she's right. I'm deeply sorry that this has become with me. Just as Parthenax's later deeds do not expiate his crimes, your deeds do not allow us to ignore our duty. I hope you will return to us soon with the news that justice has finally been done. With both Alduin and Parthenax dead, a dark chapter in history will finally be complete.